this is your girl Ray doing another video real quick. As you can see, I'm in Walmart. All y'all know I work at the other Walmart in Mount Pleasant. But this one, this particular store has everything that the other store don't have. I don't know if this is the super Walmart or not. I never inquired about that. I don't care about that. Oh, we're going to walk around. This is my life. When I work at night, this is what I do. I restock the shelves, unload trucks. So it's the same thing as like working a construction site, but you're not digging ditches. <laughs> Let's just walk around for a little bit. Then we're going to go to the real spot where I really want to go. Pick up my supplies. Because when I was in prison, I learned how to crochet, needlepoint, cross stitch, do embroidery. I learned how to sew on an industrial machine. So, because <laughs> all y'all, y'all, y'all know that I'm like into everything Martha Stewart did. We like the Martha Stewarts of today, but. We can't start off on TV. We can't write a script nowhere. So what we do, we live our lives. Martha Stewart taught me how to paint, how to do wallpaper, and everything else for the house. I learned a lot from my mother. Rest in peace, Mommy. Rest in peace, Mommy. But my real lessons in life came from the penitentiary. Because I was so tomboyish and stuff. So I thought me being a tomboy, that was giving me signals to change my sex. And um, last time I was in New York, see, in New York, you could do all that. If you are Medicaid, you can change your sex. You can change it <laughs> to whatever you want it to be, male, female. But does that change who you are on the inside? No, it doesn't. And plus, my mother, the mother that raised me, she was a certified nursing assistant for over 30 years. Over 30 years, she stayed in the medical field. She became a, a, a union member of 1199. So she already knew. And she had books in the house and all those medical books she had explained everything. I said, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. But you got some people in the world that will encourage you to do that. When I first started experiencing anything from Manhattan or Harlem or Spanish Harlem, it had to do with the drag queens. And they wasn't into changing their sex. Just like whatever going to happen, going to happen. Be you. Be the best you. Okay. Now we in the hunting section. I don't know how I got in this section. Oh, talking to y'all. <laughs> Peace out.